Good evening, folks. I'm here to provide you with a little bit of guidance about how to do a proper environment check during the pre-exam sequence uh, when you're taking the test using the Respondus Monitor. Uh, before I start demonstrating how you should do this, uh, let me simply say a couple things. First of all, uh, you can see that I'm wearing a set of headphones, uh, and um, obviously you can't have headphones on while you're taking the exam. You might be surprised. I have had students who have taken an exam with a set of headphones on and uh, then were shocked when I gave them a zero on the test because they violated that prohibition. Uh, I, I have these headphones on so that I can hear uh, the audio track of what I'm recording uh, here as I'm, I'm making this video for you. And then the other thing here that I have out that obviously you're not going to have out, you would have no need, it wouldn't help you in any way on the exam, is a microphone that um, I need here obviously to record the audio for uh, this uh, video presentation that I'm, I'm prepared for you. Okay. The second thing that I wanted to say is um, the purpose of this environment check that you do on these exams is it's not motivated by suspicion of anyone in particular. I don't have any reason to suspect you. I don't know you. I don't have any reason to suspect you. Most of you I don't know. So I don't have any reason to suspect you. I don't have any reason not to suspect you. Anybody who might be auditing the college's processes and look at these videos um, has no reason to suspect you or not to suspect you. But we have to demonstrate the college. And as an agent of the college, I have to be able to demonstrate that the testing environment for students who are testing online is roughly approximate to what the testing environment would be in an actual classroom on a campus. Okay, So if the rules of the star that you can't have notes out, you can't have your textbook out, how am I going to know that you don't have those things out if you don't show me the testing environment? Okay, So uh, please don't be offended by the fact that you have to do these environment checks with each test. I hope you can appreciate why they're necessary. Okay, Now, I'm going to try to run through as quickly as possible, but again, this video is going to be longer, considerably longer than any environment check that you will conduct. In fact, I think uh, Respondus gives you about a minute to do an environment check, which, as it turns out, is probably sufficient time uh, to do an environment check before an exam, particularly after you've done one or two of them. It becomes easier, okay? Um, what I'm concerned about here, and the reason this video takes a little bit longer, is because I, I want to make some comments uh, take a little bit of time so that we can avoid some of the problems that we've been seeing on these environment checks. Okay, so the, one of the first things that you're asked to do during the environment check is do a tilt up and a tilt down. Okay, so I'm going to remove my webcam now because it is an external device, but you could obviously do this if you have a laptop with embedded webcam. Uh, I'm going to tilt up. Now, how silly does that seem? Okay, why in the world would your professor want you to tilt up and show you what's above you? Well, again, a person whose intent is to cheat may decide that they can put some notes up here, okay, and then every so often during the exam, let me put my webcam down for just a second, every so often during the exam, do a nice stretch. Uh -huh, right? Well, if you haven't shown me what's up here and you do one of those you probably shouldn't be doing those stretches anyway <laughs> come to the exam fully rested so you don't need to do that but you know if you've shown me this ahead of time it doesn't raise any questions in my mind about what might that person be looking at up there on the ceiling okay and then by the same token you're going to want to tilt down and show me what not only is here in the immediate area where the uh, computer keyboard is, but also down here on the floor. And my uh, cable and my webcam is, is tied up with a zip tie back there, so I can't get a full extension. But what I really want to show is, you know, this area down here. And some of you have been doing a really good job with that. You might, like, take your webcam and show me what's underneath the table or what's underneath the chair here, for example. Some of you even narrate the process, which I think is really good, because not only does it 
help me understand what you're doing, but it also makes your, for you, it helps serve as a way to check to make sure that you're doing everything, okay? So I've tilted up, I've tilted down, okay, adequately, even though the one, the tilt down that I just did really wasn't entirely complete, yours is going to be, okay? Now I'm going to start a pan, I'm going to do a full 360 pan, and notice right out of the gate here, I have a bunch of stuff off to the right of my um, keyboard. Now, if I was actually taking a test, that stuff really should be put away, okay? Uh, it's really not a good idea to have anything out that might be misinterpreted uh, as being something that you're using to help you during the exam, okay? I'm going to continue panning around here to the left. There you can see my um, printer, okay, that I have attached to my computer. What if I have a stack of papers laying out like that, okay? You know, again, when I'm viewing your environment check, I don't know what's on that pad. I don't know what's on those papers. So the best practice is just not to have them out at all. Okay, put them away. I'm going to put them up here. Oh, look what we have here. As I do that, we have some post-it notes that really shouldn't be out. Okay, I'm going to put those away. Okay, I'm going to continue my pan around this way. And now you're going to see that I have a dual monitor set up on my computer. And if you are in Respondus, which you must be, obviously, if you're doing an environment check, and these two monitors are connected to the same computer, one of these two screens is going to be blue. Okay, it's going to be blued out. Okay, if you do your environment check and you show, I see two computer monitors and there are images on both computer monitors. I immediately think to myself, ah, that person is taking the test with a second computer on, and that's not allowed, okay? So if you have two monitors, if they're not connected up to the same computer and the second monitor is not blued out as a result, you need to make sure that that second computer is completely powered off, okay, and it's not on at all, and that helps avoid any suspicion there. Here's a part of the environment check that some people are struggling with a little bit, it would appear. Some people just aren't doing this or they aren't doing it very well. You have to show me the area immediately facing you, okay, behind your computer screen, okay? Now, I think I know why people are missing this part of it. I think it's because, A, they're not reading the instructions that are provided during the pre-exam sequence very well, or, and maybe a combination of these, they don't really think to do it because maybe they're working at a table or at a, at a computer station that's pushed up against the wall and it doesn't occur all that's there in their mind is a wall right but I don't know what's on that wall right what if there are some post-it notes that shouldn't be there right a clever person who doesn't show me what's behind the computer could have that entire wall with a bunch of notes on it and it would just look like as I'm watching them take the test it would just look like they're look it would simply look like they're looking straight into this computer screen okay so got to show me this area back here show me that you don't have anything out I'm going to continue panning around this way you can see there I have a couple of post-it notes out those should be put away they're not there but maybe in a drawer right there you can see my ID you're gonna have that out that's okay because you needed to have that out for part of this pre-exam sequence to take a picture of it and I don't want you to stop what you're doing and go put that back in your backpack or in your purse or something like that you can have it out you know as long as I can clearly see that what it is is your ID and not a bunch of notes okay so um, you know uh, continuing over here I'm, you know there you can see an inbox right and I've got some papers in that inbox I don't know what's on that tablet. I can't see what's on that tablet when I look at your environment check. So it's best not to have that out, okay? Um, all these papers in here, I can't see what's on those papers, okay? So really the best practice would be to put that away, put it in a drawer, or, you know, at least I'm going to do that so that there's no question or no suspicions raised, okay? Way back there, you can see the textbook probably shouldn't be out while I'm taking a test. That should probably be put away. Continuing around in this fashion, okay, 360 degrees. Now you can now see 
everything in your testing environment. We're almost back to the starting point on this pan, okay? I'm gonna cross over, get out of the way. Some of you, when you're doing these environment checks, you're kind of having some trouble getting out of the way. Um, you know, make sure that your torso is out of the shot so that I can get a complete view, okay? So we're back to where we started. We're at the 360 degree view, okay? That would be a pretty good environment check. Again, it would go much faster when you're doing it, but those are the steps that you need to, the bases that you need to cover while you're doing your environment check. Now, the last thing I want to say here, because we're running up against an 11 minute video, is once you record your environment check, you have an opportunity to review the video and audio file that Respond has produced. You need to invest a minute of your time to do that. Um, here's why. If you just assume that it all went okay, uh, you're not going to know, for example, if the video froze up. Okay? Maybe you thought you went through this 360 degree pan. Maybe you thought you did the tilt. Maybe you actually did the 360 degree pan and you actually did the tilt. But if at the start of the process, as you start to move, if the video freezes at that point, I can't see anything that you just thought that you recorded. Okay? So you need to take a, mo a minute before you start answering questions on the exam. I know you're anxious and eager to get started with the exam, but invest a minute of your time to make sure that everything was recorded in that video, in that audio file that Respond has produced. And if not, you have an opportunity to redo it. Do it as many times as it takes. It's not going to count against your 50 minutes that you have to take the test. The timer doesn't begin until you actually see the test. Okay? So get this part of the process correctly and no one will at this point from this point forward see a zero entered in for their grade on an exam because of an inadequate environment check. Okay, thank you.